the way you think about food, so the sentences you think in your brain about food, the things you say about food will absolutely have an impact on your eating habits. For example, if you think food is bad, if you think you have no control around food, if you think you can't stop, if you think that the cravings you have for certain foods are in charge, all of that is going to impact your eating habits because all of those sentences, all of those thoughts are going to keep you believing that food has some sort of power over you. How do I know this? Because I lived it for a really long time. There was a time when I thought food was evil. I hated food. I hated that I liked food so much and because it kept messing with my goals. It kept it for me, it kept messing with my weight loss goals. I kept falling off the wagon and, you know, getting stuck and staying there for days or weeks or sometimes even months, right? It wasn't until I started to recognize how those harmful thoughts were impacting me and my eating habits. And once I started, once I learned about life coaching, like I hired my first coach and eventually became a coach, I started realizing that I could change those thoughts. I could change the way that I look at food. I can change the way that I think about it, the way that I feel about it. I don't have to believe every single thought that my brain is producing every single day. I mean, what is it? They say the average person has like 60,000 thoughts a day. Oof. Anyway, now it is not just as simple as just change your thoughts, change your life. Okay, I, like we don't do that over here, not in Fat to Fears. But we do wanna recognize the thoughts that we're thinking about food and how they're impacting our behaviors and start to question them and really like ask, is it true or what else could be true? And here's the thing. At one point, the thoughts about food served you for whatever reason in your life. It's just that they haven't been addressed in a long time probably. And so they're still lingering around. And what we wanna do is recognize them, see the impact that they're having. Got a little hair stuck in my eye there. See the impact that they're having and decide if there's another way to look at food, because food really is just food and you can still have your favorites and you can still like certain things, but you don't have to keep believing that it has control over you and that you have no power because you actually can take your power back and live a very healthy, peaceful relationship with food. It's totally possible. Okay. Have a great day.